Alright, welcome to Alex Dalton Media. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Laowa 12mm 2.8 lens. I'm going to go ahead and share my own user experience with the lens. Hopefully it can help you out if you're looking into the lens as well. I guess we're actually looking at the details. So, post-production Alex, you go ahead and uh, do your thing. Alright, unboxing experience time. Uh, it's very straightforward, nothing too special. The lens did come vacuum sealed, what kind of knocked my socks off, but hey. You know, that's a, that's a nice surprise coming from a third party lens manufacturer like Laowa or Venus Optics, whichever you like to call it. It also comes with the quality assurance card, warranty card, and a brief manual on the lens itself. Let's get into the next topic, which is build quality. This thing is built like a tank. It's full metal lens, fully manual as well. So you have manual focus and aperture. Uh, the aperture ring is clicks, you know, for you video users, then that's something to keep in mind. And I think it's just a symptom of it being a brand new lens, but the focus ring does take a little more torque than what I'm used to. I have my Sigma uh, 24 millimeter art, uh, not nearly as much resistance to turn it, turn it, turn, the, the, the allow is just harder to turn. Okay, next. The lens provides a 122 degree field of view. So for comparison, here's my Sony 50 millimeter, then my Sigma 24 millimeter, and then finally the 12 mil. So you can get an idea of what kind of viewing angle you can get with this lens. God damn, that is why. All right, so originally I was going to just sit down and talk about the lens and such. Nice day out today. Attempt to see if I can get this on the gimbal while I'm riding my motorcycle, which probably isn't the greatest idea, but hey, whatever, let's be adventurous. All right, cool. So today, the first thing we're gonna do is, is take a look at what this lens would be like using for vlogging. Now, I'm not really a professional vlogger of any sort. Oh God, it's getting, it's like, it's like 93 degrees. I decided to go outside. I should have just stayed home and did this, but I didn't, because I'm a good guy. And good guy brings good content for somebody who uh, uses and abuses everything they own finish on the lens is already starting to come off in certain places so if you're definitely a pet peeve about how your lenses look or how you like to take care of them throw it in a lens bag now as i was trying to find my amazon queen in the wilderness uh the only thing i did find that this lens flares quite a bit even when the sun pokes through the tree line in the background you can definitely see it fill the frame for maybe a second or two uh it can be quite large it can be distracting uh, just one of those things to keep your eye out. For. Now, if Marvel were to hold an audition for the Magneto of Dirt, this lens would be a fine candidate because you will end up rubbing this one off more than Pamela Anderson has in an entire lifetime. So at this point, you're probably like, well, didn't he say he was going to do the rest of this in the woods or, you know, somewhere that's not at home? Well, I'll go ahead and let Forrest Alex explain what happened. All right, guys, so it looks like my mic cable thing took a sh Moving on to the next topic is the lens cap that is included. Now, I know I'm just nitpicking at this point, but it is a slip-on style. So all this lens cap takes is a four-year-old's forehead to brush across your lens. And then your front element is exposed like a Janet Jackson Super Bowl performance. All right, in the example right here, you'll be able to see that there is some focus breathing in this lens. Uh, it's not a big deal for me since it is a wide angle lens. You already have plenty of things in the frame, but if you're really uh, crucial about your composition, then it's something to watch out. I know it does look like at this point that I probably don't like the lens, which you would be mistaken that I do actually really like this lens. For one is the form factor that this thing is kind of small. If you're going to be using this on a gimbal, you're not going to be stressed out. Uh, throwing it in your bag won't be too much of a problem. It pretty much gives this one of those lenses you can grab and go. Not really worry about the lens and weighing you down throughout the day. Another great thing about this lens, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, it's a zero, what they call a zero D lens. Uh, it is a low distortion, at least close to no distortion. In certain scenarios where I would expect to get that kind of like fisheye uh, bolt, uh, what the hell is that? The start to bend or like straight lines don't really stay straight. If you're gonna be shooting indoors, architecture, um, anything really specific that you need to keep in line, um, this lens would be a great option for you. Even though it is a 12 millimeter, you do already kind of have a lot of things in focus. Focus ring itself turns about 180 degrees, so you have a lot of room to play with if you're trying to, uh, I don't know, just you just have a lot more, you know, play. You know, you never know how you could use it, but you know, yeah. A lot of glare right here i noticed I'm gonna fix that just yeah, okay the unique thing about this wide angle lens is that it has a seven inch minimum focus distance 
So I'm gonna probably have an example here um, using the bill of my hat to focus on the front. Yes, you can you can do that. So you can do some really cool like macro shots with it. I mean, of course you can't get like super up close like a real macro lens would. What actually led me to get this lens is I borrowed my friend's A6300 with the 12 millimeter 2.8 Zeiss lens and I pretty much fell in love with the setup. So I thought, why not bring that over to my full frame camera so I can replicate that setup. Of course you lose the autofocus and you know, there is some flaring in the lens, but I mean, no lens is perfect. Perfect. Not to mention the weight for this lens. It's pretty light, even though it is a full metal lens. Unfortunately, Sony's kind of ignoring that kind of form factor, which is kind of weird because, you know, they're going for the mirrorless camera lightweight solution, but their 12 to 24 millimeter and their new 16 to 35 to 8 are quite bulky. And I mean, people that are getting used to using single handed gimbals are starting to become limited of what their options can be. So yes, I would recommend this lens if you're looking for a budget wide angle lens to throw on a Sony camera. I'll leave a link below if you want to actually like uh, purchase the lens. Uh, I do get a little kickback to actually start supporting this channel because I want to make more content in the future. Us slash Venus Optics has no way in control of my opinion this lens. I just did this video for fun. So, yeah. I uh, hope to see you guys again. Maybe we might put this lens against the 12 to 24 Sony lens. If you guys want to see that, put it in the comments below. I can see if I can make it happen. If not, uh, this was actually a little fun video I wanted to make. I actually really hate recording myself. So, I've um, been doing videos like this just to like get myself kind of comfortable and see how I do or see if I actually like doing it at all. Peace. Much love to you. We will see you next time. If, if there is a next time there will be, I just, I just don't know when. Yeah. All right. Bye.